How's it going guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. This is for Smoking Out the Window by Silk Sonic, Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack, sort of Bootsy Collins. Um, this song's not that hard. It's all right. Um, you just have to remember the order of the chords because there's a few different sections and there's a bridge where there's a key change. Um, I won't play this to start off because that'd take too long. We'll just hop straight into it. So if you want to play that intro part with Bootsy Collins talking, you just have to play a B minor seven chord. <laughs> At like a very quiet volume for a bit. Um, and that's just a barred minor chord on the seventh fret. Seven, nine, nine, seven. Okay, so now to the verse, the whole. So what we have is an E minor nine. And what that is, is open top string. Seven, five, seven, seven. So you can think of it as like, but with, basically it's zero because that's an E note, seven, five, seven, seven. Just to an A. Halfway through the verse, it goes like this. Which is just A to a B7, the same B7 that we played at the start. Oh no, that was a B minor 7. Uh, here we're playing a B7, which is just a regular, it's the A shape without the pinky. So, up on the 7th fret. So it goes... Me, and then it keeps going. And, tell me, mm, 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 mm. and then it ends with it's similar to a B7, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna play seven, nine, seven, nine as a bar chord. So this is like a B sus chord. And now we're gonna go to the chorus, so the G major 7 So just look up that shape I play it like this You'll see a lot of people playing it like this Basically 3, nothing, 4, 4, 3 Very jazzy, very nice Not really jazzy, it's just used in jazz It's used in everything It's used in soul, R&B, hip-hop, everything Rock, probably not in rock Um to an F sharp minor seven, which is just the barred second fret. Play it like this. Mute the fifth fret, mute the fifth string. And then, so you do that once, and then in the chorus you go, uh, so. So what that is, is it's a B minor 7, uh, B minor, or B minor 7, whatever you prefer, to an A, to a D, which is just 5, 7, 7, 7, 5, seven, seven. yep, back to an A. But I was wrong. So now we go to a D major seven, which is five, seven, six, seven, five. Starting on the fifth string. Five, seven, six, seven, five. 
not playing the top string. And then the next part is just because she boom. Mm -hmm. So the same as before, G minus G major seven to F sharp minor seven, and now finishing on. So that B seven sus chord from before to a B seven, B dominant. So the whole chorus goes. And then there's a talking interlude after the second verse, which is just the regular chorus um, chords. Except it ends on an A. And then it goes to the key change, which is just F major seven, same as the G down the first row, to an E minor seven. So just like your regular uh, minor shape without the pinky, up on the seventh fret. Similar to that E minor nine, but now it's an E minor seven. To a G major seven, to the B7 sus chord. So the leading from the interlude to the bridge, it goes like this. Key change, F major seven, E minor seven, G major seven, B7 sus. I'm sure you can look up the order of the chords if you're not clear. Um, normally with these kinds of songs, you like to just learn all the chords and then listen along to the song to basically figure out the order. Um, and then it becomes automatic and then you don't have to relearn it. Um, but yeah, I think that's the whole song. Look for more Silk Sonic songs. Some of them might be really complicated, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> Thanks guys. Have a good one.